Here we go. So there's my home screen. And so widgets are this new thing. It's a new thing. It's a new thing. Um, and in order to get to widgets, if you're on it, you take your thumb. There's a lot of gestures in the new operating system. So you take your thumb and you swipe um, left to right. It, it's hard because I'm seeing it opposite in my monitor. So it's, it's a little tricky. So you swipe left to right. And these are widgets. Um, these, these widgets are supposed to give you timely information and, and they refer to this screen as the today screen, as in today. So the phone, which has artificial intelligence, is trying to anticipate what information you're going to want to need today. And so my phone will look a little different than yours. Um, and you can see that that I, I have iMessage up. I listen to music a lot. That's in book, no, books. I have Audible, so that's easy. Um, I use my phone. I check my mail. I go into settings all the time, and I'm constantly checking the New York Times lately. So this, I didn't ask it to do this. I've had this phone for like four days, five days. And based on my use of the phone, this widget has been created for me. Um, and, it's, and what it's tr trying to do is to give me everything I need in one place. So this is widget. I've also been researching <coughs> the class. And so I have, they know I've been going to Apple and checking out how to do different things. Um, and this is my iPhone. This is telling me the charge. I have an, uh, an I, a, a watch. That's the charge on my watch. Um, here's my location on in Madiket. Here's the weather. And here's the calendar. So um, this is the today screen. And these are considered widgets. Janie, is this a preset screen or have you set it up? I did not set it up. Because yours is completely different. I, I thumbed left to right but I have none, none of what you have. I do have things like settings and Safari and basic stuff, which I guess is a preset. No, it's, I, I don't think it's a preset. What it is, is the phone keeps, um, the phone has artificial intelligence, meaning algorithms that keep track of what you use most. And so whatever you use most will appear appear in your widgets automatically. And they're, they're, it, it's supposed to be a convenience. And I, I think I will get used to this and I think I will grow to be dependent upon it and appreciate it. But right now it's not a habit yet. So I, I'm just getting used to it just like you are. And um, you, but you can also manually add things into this screen. And I have given instructions on how to do it. It's a lot like, Jerry, do you remember how we were organizing our um, home screens when we get yeah. all the little things to wiggle? Yep. This is very, very similar. They use the same technique. So in order to add something or to delete a widget that you don't want, <clears throat> you touch and hold a widget or an empty area in the today view. This is the today, today view until all the apps jiggle. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I get this screen and I'm going to say edit widget or edit home screen. Okay, you how, see how they're that? all wiggling? How you got that again? <laughs> okay, let me, okay, I wanna get out of here. But do you notice how they're all wiggling? Yeah. Okay. No, they're not wiggling. Uh, on her screen. On my no. screen. On my screen. No, they're not wiggling on your screen. On the one that I have that shows your screen. Oh okay. yeah, they are. Just very slowly. Sorry. Yeah, that's yes. the wiggle. Okay, so I'm going to get out of here so I can show you again. I'm going to hit done up here. All right. Now, what what I did was you can hold it on an individual widget or a blank space. So I'm gonna 
take my finger, this is a gesture, right? It's called a, one of the gestures and hold it on my screen. I get this window and I am going to select <clears throat> at home screen and they all start wiggling. So if I wanted to do it, wait, do you have to go to edit first? Okay, oh. let me do it one more time. Here we go. Um, I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to hold it on the, the today screen. They all wiggle. Um, what I, they didn't do it this time, Karen, but I had to click on edit home screen. Now, if I wanted to delete any of these- well, Now they're, okay, when they're okay. jiggling, then you can change them. You can change them. You can take them away by hitting the minus. Remove, okay, I see. Okay, or- and then if you, you hit done. Right, or oh, you can okay. scroll down and customize. And I, oh, they mine stopped that. Danny, can you adjust your screen? We can't, I can't see where your arrow is now at the bottom of my screen. Yeah, I, I can't I, either. It's just too long or, or vertically is too high. How do we get rid of the control panel below? Maybe that will- The dock, do you mean? Yes. Yep. Okay. You know what? If you exit the full screen, you'll be able to see your whole, her whole phone. <clears throat> I'm trying to- move it okay now i can see it can you can everybody <clears throat> yeah. yeah yeah okay all right um what was i doing okay so we made them wiggle by holding it down we made them wiggle we could delete them and we can add a widget here's the add do you see the plus sign i'm going to tap on the plus sign and um, I could add these widgets if I wanted to. Maps, calendar, New York Times, all this stuff. I could add all this stuff to widgets. These are all the things I have on my phone. But I kind of like it the way it is. I mean, you know, the artificial intelligence did a good job. So how I did that was I hit the plus sign up here. So you can take them away and you can add them. I'm going to hit done. Um, let's see if I covered everything in my notes. Tap the add button in the upper left corner. Yes. Scroll down to select a widget, then choose from the three widget sizes. I didn't show you that. Your widgets can be different sizes. Let's see if I hold my finger down. They're all gonna wiggle. Edit home screen. If I scroll down, I'm going to customize. And here are more widgets that I can add. Okay, so but where do I customize the size? There are three widget sizes. I guess I would have to add a widget. Okay, I'm gonna to go to customize. And I will add AccuWeather. Oh, okay, here's AccuWeather. And then I wonder if these three lines here will let me pick the size, let's see. No, it's not. I'm going to say done. I don't know how to change the size. Google it. <laughs> oh, now, okay. I think I just figured it out. Do you see AccuWeather says edit? Let's try this. Hmm. Okay. Customize. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to have to get back to you on that. I'm gonna press done and I'm gonna press done again. So now I have AccuWeather and that's actually a good one because I do use it a lot. 
I tell you, just knowing what a widget is, is helpful because that word was all over the place and I had to Google it. And now I'm at least more clear. And I understand how this screen pops up all the time. Every now and then I get it, but I never knew what I was doing to get it. A widget uh, actually is an artificial um, object that was, that was economists studied 60, 70 years ago. <laughs> An artificial object. Was when you, you talked about making widgets and you talked about how to, to do it the most profitably and cost benefit analysis. And that's what they use the term widgets. Widgets and gadgets. And what widget was in Google or Siri, the answer she gave me was something that you put in beer to keep the foam <laughs> at a certain level. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's, that's no nature. So, Janie. Yeah. A, a question about widgets. I mean, it, it, so it, it, it thinks it knows what you want and it sends you that. But yeah. if you want to find it on your own, you don't have to go through widgets. You can actually search and find whatever it is you're looking for. You absolutely can. Right. So of course, of course. It, it's like when the you know text correction thinks I want to spell something and I want to spell something different. It's very much, yeah, you're absolutely right. And Pam, you can turn that on and off. You, know, you can turn that, that auto correct on and off. Yeah, yep, yep. Okay, so I went to my next slide here, edit your widgets and we did it. We already edited our widgets. Um, so, and we also, the next slide talks about today view. So this is the today view and you understand that um, the phone is using artificial intelligence to anticipate what you use, what you're going to use today. And I got to say, it's a little scary, but it's true. Um, and then I just want to tell you something. I haven't explored this. I haven't had time. But do you know, um, let me go to my home screen. Now, in other classes, we've these gray boxes are actually like folders. Now let me let me look in this folder. This is my um, Google folder. Um, what I did was I have all these individual apps from Google: Photos, Drive, Docs, Translate, Chrome, Google, Gmail. Of all of these, and I didn't want them open on my home screen, so I put them together into a folder. Um, and we've talked about that. It's very easy to do. You just take one app um, and they wiggle and then you move them over each other. You just move them one at one app on top of the other and it creates a folder. That's it's a really easy way to do it. Um, so in in widgets, you can do something called a smart stack. And this is in widgets. And I, I, I didn't go into it, but I think it works the same way. I think what you do is you get them to wiggle and then you drag one widget over another. And then it creates a stack of widgets. But I didn't have time to really investigate it, but I wanted you to just know that there's something called a smart stack of widgets. <clears throat> Janie, Jerry, is, is it the widget page that is up to date continuously under AI or does the whole phone function in that sense? Is, I mean, does, do you have to make something a widget in order to get the benefit of artificial intelligence updates on a regular? No. Okay. No. So you, when you put your widget screen together, in a sense, you're differently, but you're duplicating what you have on your home screen. Yeah, you are. And what, so what does that buy you other than the joy of using your thumb? It's the joy of using your thumb. Okay. <laughs> I think Apple, I think, I think Apple thinks it's really, oh, oh, I'm going to check AccuWeather. So I could press it here or I could just swish it here and check AccuWeather and get my messages and check the New York Times and start listening to my book and make a phone call and check my email. You know, I don't know. So you never get back to reality that way. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's why I need this candle of serenity and peace. <laughs> you know?